Yeah, and just a, a quick video uh, sent, question sent to me by one of my own students uh, was in relation to it. Again, it's a uh, Leaving Certificate Accountant, higher level, and this is 2017's, it's actually the mock paper from um, 2017's um, mock exam. So interpretation of accounts. And the question was, how do I calculate dividends? Uh, and apologies for the lines going across the screen. I'm not sure what that is because they're not on the screen itself. But obviously when I'm recording uh, a screen, they're there. But uh, hopefully you can see okay. So the question was, how do I calculate preference dividends? And how do I calculate ordinary dividends? So to calculate um, preference dividends... Okay, so you can see there in the capital and reserve section of your balance sheet, um, 5% preference shares at a euro each, 100,000 euro. Okay, so hopefully we know um, the difference between an ordinary share and a preference share. Um, I suppose the main difference is that preference shareholders are entitled to a return. It may not be as great as ordinary shareholders, but it is guaranteed. Okay, so they have to get a return regardless of the profits made by the company. So in this case, and it does help us when the uh, kindly value the shares at a euro each, makes it a lot easier for us. So um, the total amount invested in preference shares was 100,000 euro. Okay, meaning obviously if they're a euro each, then 100,000 shares were bought. And that the return on these shares is 5%. Okay, so hopefully, uh, and again, a quick tip, try your best with these calculations to not use a calculator where you can. Uh, also helpful in your maths as well, but some people, particularly in the heat of an exam, and I suppose things might be that bit more unpredictable and pressurized this year uh, than any other years given the, the current circumstances. So there's probably more likelihood for mistakes to be made. So, you know, it should be, be straightforward that 100,000 euro by 5% is 5,000 euro. Um, so 5,000 euro are the preference shares, or sorry, the preference dividend. And you may say, that's fine. How do we work out the ordinary dividend? Because they don't have a specific return. So there's no percentage beside the ordinary shares. So what you have to do is go up to your profit and loss account and you'll see their dividends paid. Okay, so dividends paid 40,000 euro. Okay, so hopefully you know now that if the total, and that's the total dividends that were paid out by the company, in this case, buying PLC, um, the total amount paid out was 40,000 euro. Therefore, if 5,000 of that is preference shares, then the remaining 35,000 must be ordinary shares, or sorry, ordinary dividend. Okay, so total dividend 40,000. Preference dividend we've worked out as being 5,000. 40,000 minus 5 because it's 35,000. Therefore, that must be the ordinary dividend. Okay, so very quick. Uh, and hopefully, most of you will find, uh, find that fairly straightforward. But it was just a query I got in, so I thought I'd just do a, a quick video on it. Okay, so that's how to work out your preference dividend and ordinary dividend if all you're given is the total. Okay, thank you.